Hello, my name is Ted Bauk, and uh, I am here today. I want to do a uh, brief overview video tutorial on how to make a Viking Age broadband arm ring. These are some examples that I've made that I'm wearing. As you can see, I'm wearing them on my wrist. They call them broadband because they're kind of made out of sheet and then stamped. Both men and women of the Viking Age wore these. Uh, the broadband arm rings that I've just shown you, they're a little bit more detailed than I'm going to go into today on this overview. The version I'm going to make is going to be closer to targeting something like this one from the National Scottish Museum. You can also look up and research things from the Cordell Horde. This is the book uh, that shows lots and lots of information and reference material on these type of arm rings and so many more things in the Viking Age that the silver metal smiths did of that time. So uh, I am in the SCA. The SCA is the Society for Creative Anachronism and in the SCA, of which I've been a member for over 30 years, my title is uh, Duke Eichbrander Solgiafi, uh, Knight of the Realm, and also Master of the Laurel. Uh, being a Laurel, which is this, this medallion that uh, I have the honor to wear, uh, indicates to people in the SCA, the uh, medieval group, that I'm an expert in the field of my expertise, which is uh, Viking and Anglo-Saxon metalsmith. In the Viking Age, these arm rings would have been made out of silver. And what the metalsmith of the time would have done is he would have poured a silver ingot, like I have here, and then that would have been hammered over many, many hammer strikes to turn it into a blank that's got to become the blank to then turn it into that type of arm ring. In today's modern society, silver is pretty expensive, so when we learn how to make these, we're going to use brass, and that's what this is. This is a brass blank that I'm going to use to show you how to do this today. Pause. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of the steps that I had to take to get this coupon made first. So I get my brass 260, also known as cartridge brass, out of my stockpile and I had to decide the size of coupon I was gonna make. In this case, it's two millimeters thick by three quarters of an inch wide by seven inches long. So I cut off of this piece of brass, this coupon, using this shears that I have, a modern tool, and then I had to take it over to the anvil, and it was curled and kind of twisted from the cutting on the shearing process. So I had to hammer it to flatten it and then I had to put it in the vise and twist it to straighten it out so that it would be in the shape it's in now, nice and straight and flat this way and flat this way. So now I have to soften it so that I can start to work it and create the shape that I want to create. So we're going to go over here to my fire brick area and I'm going to use a map gas torch to heat it up to an orange color so approximately 1400 1500 degrees so pretty hot and uh, that's going to then let it cool down in ambient air temperature and allow it to get soft right now if I was to try to bend it I could but it's, it doesn't bend very easily 